I'm Dr. Bobby Stanley, owner of Stanley Dentistry in Cary, North Carolina. Today, I'll be walking through exercises designed for OMT, or Oral Facial Myofunctional Therapy. OMT is a series of exercises designed to disorganize patterns of oral habits and repattern to optimize oral or facial function. Improper function of the lips and tongue can cause issues to develop in speech, breathing, sleeping, growth, chewing, and swallowing. At Stanley Dentistry, we are screening these improper functions or habits when treating patients for TMD or temporomandibular disorder, patients with sleep issues, or with orthodontics, pediatric, and cosmetic dentistry. We have developed these videos to assist in pre and post treatment of lip and tongue release surgery, also known as phrenectomies. They are designed for increased range of motion and to build good habits for strength building. Please use them and our printed handouts as a guide to record and complete the exercises. These exercises will begin after your one week post-operative appointment and will be completed for the next seven days. Let's begin. The first exercise is called jawbreakers. Push and point the tongue into the right and left cheek 25 times each, three times a day. The next exercise is called caves. This exercise is similar to tongue pops from the previous two weeks. At this point, you should be able to make a vacuum seal in the roof of your mouth with your tongue with each tongue pop sound. Look in the mirror and see the backside of your tongue lifting to make a cave. Next is pencil pull. Use a pencil or chopstick to put resistance over and under your tongue. Pull against the pencil or chopstick for a more intense stretch. Do this 20 times, three times a day. Next up is the peanut butter rub. Use the tip of your tongue to trace from the spot to the front part of the roof of your mouth to the furthest part in the back of your mouth as if licking sticky peanut butter from the top of your mouth with your tongue. Please feel free to use peanut butter if you are not allergic. Complete this exercise 25 times, three times a day. The next exercise is called tongue depressor push-ups. Use a tongue depressor or several taped together to apply resistance pressure to each side of the tongue, right, left, top, and bottom. You should feel a stretch in the area released. Complete this exercise five times, three times daily. Next is the tongue point and trace. In this exercise, the teeth are apart, but the lips are closed. Use your tongue to trace the inside of your lips and mouth. Change directions and repeat 30 times, three times per day. Next is the lizard exercise. Extend your tongue forward as far as possible. Fill in the stretch under your tongue. Be sure to try and keep your tongue off your teeth. This exercise is best done in front of a mirror to get optimal extension. After the, the tongue release procedure, we are expecting to see more of a point to the tongue. Do this 25 times, three times a day. Finally, each day you need to practice putting your tongue on the spot for 30 minutes. This can best be done while watching a 30 minute TV program or sitting at your comp computer. Not speaking, with your tongue on the spot, lips closed, teeth slightly apart and breathing through the nose. Remember, you must move your tongue after these procedures. There is greater than 60% chance of some portion or all 
of the release reattaching without using these exercises as a tool to repattern existing oral habits. Expect some discomfort after the tongue release and while doing the exercises the week after. Rinse with warm salt water and dab a liquid vitamin E oil for healing. Keep your diet the first day or so on a soft, bland, and cold food diet for comfort. Refrain from exercise the first day. Use over-the-counter medications as needed for discomfort following the procedure and follow the manufacturer's recommendations on the bottle for these over-the-counter medications. Complete these three times a day and use our handouts to record your progress to report at your next dental appointment. These exercises are best done in front of a mirror to have proper form and extension. You will feel a stretch or a pull of the area to be released with exercises. Please discontinue if you have lasting jaw joint discomfort and contact our office with any questions or concerns you may have. We look forward to seeing your progress at your next appointment with us here at Stanley Dentistry.